The whole city was shocked by this crime wave, but no one could find the criminals ever. Well, that's all the better, though. It's like the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie, or Sasquatch. You never actually want to catch them. You just want to glimpse them to keep the scary stories alive. So a super win for the narrative. Forget about Muslims as terrorists. That's right-wing stuff. Muslims are being terrorized. Look, the CBC even put it in bold text. Terrorized, people. We're the terrorists. Muslims are the victims of terrorism. The CBC said it. Got to be true. And look at this one. The U.S. election is to blame, everybody. CBC put it in bold. It's got to be true. Of course, by that, the CBC means Donald Trump and white guys and Republicans and the NRA and Breitbart.com and the alt-right, which means racist meanies. So yeah, everything's going so perfectly. The narrative is strong. And then someone had to go and ruin it all. Someone with a security camera in the people of the front door who captured on film this racist, American, Trump-loving, white nationalist handing out a flyer. Here, take a look at him. You can see this video released by the Edmonton police. They're looking to identify the guy, so there's no sound here. It's just the video. You see that? This guy. This guy. This guy's the white nationalist, the white racist, the white pride guy. This is the guy. Isn't Canada great? We're so multicultural. Even our white nationalists are black. He's black. Of course, he's not really a white nationalist. It was a hoax the whole time. Perpetrated by someone who benefits from the hysteria. Who might that be? Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.